Hey guys, you can tell it is me again. Let's see what day it is. Today is, uh, well, it's actually Saturday, guys, but this is not the reading for Saturday. It's Friday, September 2nd. Looks like that makes it day 245 on a project survey more. Anyway, guys, it's good to be here tonight. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I'm going to try to, I, I hate to do this again, guys, but I'm going to have to make this vid short. Uh, I got to get in, in the bed. It's, it's a little after midnight right now. Uh, normally, I don't even start getting in the bed around 2 o'clock, but um, I just got to get in the bed earlier. I got to get to work earlier in the morning. Normally, on Saturdays, I don't go in first thing uh, because, to be honest, Saturdays anymore are not busy enough, really, to... You know, it's one of those days I usually don't get paid for Saturday. Uh, so, I just, you know, I, I, I maybe go in for the last hour or hour and a half or whatever. But anyway, uh, tomorrow Dad has got to go be in a parade. Uh, September is is the month around here when all the local areas do their, their uh, festivals. And we have, you know, the one for this county is called Mount Heritage. Uh, which the actual main Mountain Heritage Festival does not start till the end of the month, end of September. But each l little individual city around the county has their own festivals, and there's one called Ice and Days. And uh, this year they're doing their theme is, is racing, racing in the mountains, thunder in the mountains, something like that. And uh, my dad is the one that actually started the racing around here. Uh, well... He actually built the the county's only racetrack. Uh, he built it and was well, started, I think, in 1967. Actually got it finished and opened in, like, 69, 68 or 69. Um, so, anyway, he's the one that done that. And uh, so the guy that runs the uh, festival for the Isom Days for the parade, he wanted Dad to come be the Grand Marshal in the parade, you know, him being kind of the one that started it, so. Of course, Dad was reluctant. He didn't want to do it, but I told him. He, he actually came probably about three weeks ago and asked Dad. And I said, yeah, he's going to be there. He can do that. Uh, so, because Dad has to be there for that, that means I have to go in earlier and do Dad's job in the morning. So, uh, it's not going to kill me. But anyway, that's kind of the way. Uh, that's the reason I got I to gotta get off here, guys, and get in the bed. Um, so, anyway, I guess let's... Uh, Let's start tonight, guys, in John chapter 14, verse 22. Here we go. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and he will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth he that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away, and I come again unto you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and have nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. So anyway, guys, look like tomorrow we'll be starting in chapter 15, at, at it winds chapter 14 up. Guys, I do appreciate you being here tonight, I really do. I love you guys for everything that you do. I'm going to try maybe tomorrow uh, to get in here and maybe read some comments last couple of days. I've not, not read comments last couple of days, guys, I've just... I've been so busy with different things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to do that. So I love you guys. If you need anything, as always, let me know. Keep praying for my church, guys. 
Uh, I mean, we've got a kind of, I think we've got our bills, or at least most of them kind of caught up for the moment. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things we just, I don't know, if if if, if people, you know, if, if attendance don't pick up and, and, and people just start being willing to do some more sacrificing for for the sake of the Lord, you know, it's, uh, it's just going to come back, so. Just keep praying for it, guys. And, of course, the Lord keeps giving us these miracles, you know, and we just got to recognize them. So just but just keep praying for the church and uh, and uh, keep praying for my business and, and all that. And, and I did get to draw a payday today for you guys that could kind of keep up with that. Uh, praise the Lord. It was a slow week. Last week was actually a good week. This week was pretty slow. Uh, it didn't leave the company in the shape I like to leave it in, me taking a payday. But I, it's got to where Dad pretty much makes me take it anyway, regardless of what kind of shape it leaves cut me in. And, 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 you know, we've always, you know, we still get through it. You know, like Dad always said, well, we'll bring some in Saturday. And then, as, you know, as the week goes on, you know, we'll kind of get it built back up. So, uh, you know, I just, I praise the Lord for that. And I thank you guys, like I said. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night, guys. And until uh, I see you guys again, good night. God bless.